We are talking about sealing the roof. Oh, oh my gosh. It doesn't matter. Oh no. Get a good dollop on it. I'm gonna get my whole dollop. Okay. I think I need a lot more. Now what do I do? I need a lot just more. Spread, just spread it. You're doing fine, don't panic. It's fine. <laughs> Man, it feels so long. Yeah, like look at us, we're okay. still going. How much space we're gonna have to live in. <laughs> It says it has a lifetime warranty. I wonder if that's for people who they can't operate it. Why ain't it coming out? If we have to redo the sides, then we have to redo the sides, but that doesn't look good. Thanks, love. I know. I know it doesn't look good. Oh, there be love, love, love. Wherever you go, there be love, love, love. Wherever you go, there be love, love. Wherever you go, there be love, love, love. Wherever you go, there be love. Hi guys. Hey up. Let's talk about our next job in the Cortez overhaul. We are talking about sealing the roof. <laughs> there are many steps. I thought you were saying, and there's many steps, and tell me about it. You, you're going to say the many steps. You're going to say there are many no steps, one. the first one. No okay. one told me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to tell you. Ready? No, apparently not. This is a job that involves several steps for us. And the first step that we need to do is to get the surface rust off the bare metal roof. Pause there. Because we want to talk about how we got to be right here. We've already started on that. In fact, my family came to visit. We're now going to go with a different type of race unit so we no longer need that hole. So, so ready to go? Yeah, let's go. There's someone dancing behind us. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh, it's like a family photo. Oh. It's a family photo. Smile on oh. your family photo. <laughs> Guys, it's my family. I guess our family since we're Our family. Married. We're now, married. This is my sister and this is my brother-in-law. So you and Elle, I want you to go on the roof Ooh, and attack we the roof. Nicholas, I want you inside um, to make the roof ribs. That sounds weird. I want you inside to cut the roof ribs. And I'm going to just sit back and watch and maybe do cut some body filler. Well, Got it. We know that you sit back and watch often, so we'll work while he relaxes. Sometimes we're together. I know. Work smart, not hard. Go team! <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> What's the second step and on? Second step is going to... I can't even remember what the second step was that I said. <laughs> okay, you talked about... Oh, the rust stuff. Okay, okay. Let's okay. start again. I'm going to keep track of the jobs like this so that you know. Okay, is that, are you sure that's not on camera? I don't know if it is. Okay. Oh. I'll be like... Please don't. Okay, come on, stop it. Come on, cuz. <laughs> Ready? No. You're so miserable today. I'm not. I'm, we just, Can you just try and calm down? Let's just get through the I'm video. calm. We're just wasting time. It, ha it hadn't been me. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Sorry, has it been me? <laughs> I didn't want to point fingers, but yeah. 
The second step is going to be applying rust neutralizer to any of the small pitted areas just to make sure that any remaining rust is neutralized and isn't gonna cause us any problems in the future. Number three is going to be dressing all the remaining welds that need tidying up, just to make them look nice. Okay. The fourth step is going to be applying body filler to all the visible welds, just so that when people look at our nice bus, they can see that it's all smooth and lovely <laughs> and good. The step after that, number five, is going to be going around all the roof welds and the gutters with a roof sealant to make sure that any joints or small pinholes are filled and that roof is completely watertight. Okay. The sixth step is going to be just giving the roof a good wipe down, probably with some acetone or just panel wipe, just to make sure it's all clean and grease free. Okay. And then the final lucky number seven step is going to be applying the roof sealant itself, probably with a roller, and we'll see how it looks after that. It's a lot of work. I'm exhausted after that. And we're losing daylight. Yeah, it's so quite late. <laughs> let's start at the second step. Okay. <laughs> Stuff in this, so it doesn't matter at all. But it was so organized. Oh. I can shine, I can shine, I can shine. I'ma do what I'm made to do. We're done. Now we have to hop off and finish the edges. Finish the edges. That was really fun. Yeah, it was really Sorry, quick as well. I don't understand. <laughs> it looks great. It does look I mean, great. It doesn't look very flat. But it looks great. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's yeah. so pretty in the sunset. I just want to sit here and like look at it. So, bye for now. Bye. <laughs> We're back up on the roof of the Cortez to see how well the rust converter works. And having a look around, it looks like it's done a pretty decent job. The areas that are covered in tissue are the areas that we soaked. Now we've just got to go around, remove the tissue, and then wash down the roof for step three. <laughs> This area still looks a bit rusty, but if you just get a rub with this, this is one of the cloths we use, you just get a good rub, it turns, it's obviously all the surface rust that's just re reset, and the black metal underneath is what's been converted. Are you ready for the horse pipe? Yeah, I'm ready. Can you tell a difference? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, baby, you're gonna be like new. Are you doing your side as well? <laughs> Seems to be a lot on my side, please. I was helping you. Yep, we're going to apply this around the edges of the roof that we've welded in. And here, there's this smaller one here, and then this larger one here. That and is such a larger one. That's the one I'm going to do? Yep. And the roof's hot, so pay attention, because <laughs> this is going to set really quick. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so the first job is just to get a wire brush and just give it a good scrub, just to make sure there's no loose bits left. Why don't you do mine too, while we're at it? No, because you're doing it. <laughs> Next step is to just get a bit of panel wipe or degreaser. Just soak a cloth a couple of times. And just cleanse the area. See how much dirt wow. came off? That's after we washed it too. Yeah. The next job we're gonna do is mix up some body filler. 
you'll get in there eventually. There we go. I actually really like this color. I think we should do the Cortez. <laughs> Take a professional mixing palette. <laughs> and then we're not going to need a lot of body filler for this. We just want to skim over it. So take your spatula and just dig a bit out. It's a bit gooey. Apply it on there. Maybe a bit more. Better to mix up more. Always put your lid back on your body filler. Next step is to take your hardener. Give it a good mix in the tube first. Like that. And then just put a small line across like that. Now, as soon as you've mixed these together, you've got to be quick, okay? Okay. So you've got to be ready to, to move. Yeah. So you give this a good mix, it turns into a really nice green color. Another color that would maybe paint the Cortez? Probably. When you see it, you'll probably say yeah. Leave us a comment below and tell us what color you think we should paint the Cortez. It's not too bad. Yeah, I like it. It's a little bit brighter than I'd like, I think. Okay. And actually, it's really pretty. Yep. So this is where you've got to be quick, fast, and in a hurry. So get some on your applying spatula, and then body filler doesn't like to be messed with. So get it on, it doesn't matter if it's thick, it doesn't matter if it's messy, just get it on. You can always take it off. Just make it as smooth as you can. So it saves missing later. Let's just apply some here as well. Just to be sure. And we know there's a pin pinhole on here, so which is why I'm putting it on pretty, pretty thick. There we go. And then it's got 10 minutes to set. That was actually a lot of fun. I'm excited about yeah, this Yeah, you're going to do this one? Yeah. Am I going to film you as well? Yeah. Okay then. First step, I was listening, wire brush. Okay, next step is to clean the area. So, like, gosh, you have to be fast. Like that and more? Yeah, do a bit more. Maybe same again. Perfect. That's good? Yeah. Always cover. <gasps> oh, it doesn't matter. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, always cover your body filler. Oh. Just give that a quick squeeze together again before you take the lid off. Excuse me? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, just keep mush it about for 30 seconds, 10 seconds or something. Is that good? Uh huh. Okay. And then. Just a little line. Yeah. Like that's good. A uh, bit more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I got body filler on it too. Don't worry about it. This is where it sets really quickly. So mix, mix, mix. All needs to be one color. Now use, use your other spreader. Oh shoot. Why can't I use this spreader? Because it's not as good. It's a better mixer than it is spreader. Okay. So get a good dollop on it. I'm gonna get my whole dollop. Okay. I think I need a lot more. Now what do I do? I need a lot just more. Just spread, just spread it. If you can't do it all, don't worry about it. I know, but you're not supposed to mess with it a lot and I need a lot more. Okay, you're doing fine. Don't panic. It's fine. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now start spreading it up there. I don't have any more, Anne. You do. Like, I think that that's you're doing great. That looks very neat. That's neater than I did mine. Is that okay? Good job. Yeah. Now I just need to let it dry. For real, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this little palm sander with some 80 grit sandpaper in. We're just going to go over the body filler just to smooth it out. There we go, and that'll do us for that patch. That looks great. Yeah. Are you going to do the rest of them? Yes. Good. Yeah. Our next step is to clean the roof, and we're going to use a wax and grease remover to do that. Man, it goes so long. Wow. Oh, the length of the cord's that. <laughs> 
Yeah, like look at us, we're okay. still going. Not much space we're gonna have to live in. <laughs> we have to pick you up, friends. <laughs> you wanna just lift it and I'll wipe it? Yeah. Now that we've finished the roof, our next job is to seal all the seams and go around the welds just to make sure everything is fully watertight. We've already got his roof sealing and his gun. We just need to chop the top off and get to it. Alright. Oh, you've got the knife, love. No. Oh. <laughs> Where did the knife go? Oh, no. oh wait, I had the knife. <laughs> no? <laughs> I was just testing. Careful, you're gonna take your arm off at that rate. Right? Come to the front with us. Oh, Woo! Okay. So we're just gonna run a bead of silicon from one end to the middle. Okay. Make sure not to fill these drain holes. And then push it into the crease. I realize we have a while, so I'll get I'll get better just. I mean it's squeezing. I thought it'd have come out by now. You wanna check your hole? It says it has a lifetime warranty. I wonder if that's for people who they can't operate it. Why ain't it coming out? Okay, let's stop for a second. Puncture the seal inside the tip. <laughs> Always read the instructions before you start doing something. <laughs> I hope that didn't like put a ton of pressure in it. So it'll be like <laughs> You think you got it this time? We'll see in a second, shall we? <laughs> Come on. Like, I know it's coming out, I've seen it. There oh, it's coming, go. it's coming. And then, it doesn't need a lot. Oh, so just oh. there. Yeah, just where the two metal seams are. And don't worry if it's not perfect all the way across, because that's what we're gonna use as finger for. Push it. Push it real good. Push do, the bead do, 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 into do. rack. Looks great. Good job. <laughs> now we just have to go around the welds. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Are you not lifting it up? <laughs> no, I'm okay. gonna say it once you say it. Oh, okay. We've got a 100% silicon based. Uh, silly. Is it silicon? It is silicon. Sorry, messed that up. Yeah, 100% silicon. <laughs> the excitement's getting to me, I'm sorry. Maintain that excitement, okay, for me? Take four. <laughs> We're going to use Tropical, it's 100% silicon, it's a one cut application and it can be applied to metal roofs, asphalt roofs, anything you want. Do you have an asphalt roof? Asphalt. Asphalt. Listen. And asphalt's like a black top, like a con yeah. concrete roof. Yeah, you can apply, no, but you can apply it to that. Like buildings have that. Do you want to do it again and just keep it vehicle based? <laughs> Whatever. Concrete roofs. Listen. Okay, okay come on. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Just be like, we're I buying 100% silicone topical. It's great for RVs because. Okay. You know? That's great. You should say that. <laughs> okay. Don't say that. It's my line. We're on our last step. We're painting the roof. Yep. And to do that, we're going to use Tropical. It's 100% silicon. It's great for RVs because you can apply it to bare metal roofs and it's just a one coat application. That was great. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Ooh. It's our first exterior color. Yeah, and it's white. <laughs> it's white.
<laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> it's the absolute darkness. Again. Uh, again. And we just finished painting the roof, and it is almost 8.30 at night. And we have no idea what it, how it looks. Or how many bugs are stuck in it. That's true. We know that, like, the paint was starting to drip. Set. Run. Run. <laughs> Not look the best. <laughs> so, the next time you see us, we'll give you a look at what it looks like. As all of my thoughts at night are going to be filled on... <laughs> Please just let the roof look good. Just let it be watertight. That'll do for me right now. So the next time you see us, 